Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. It is no doubt that live television stirs in a lot of drama than the usual scripted drama shows. I mean, the list of most embarrassing live TV moments is so long, I can go on and on forever. Starting from embarrassing live performances, to awkward questions asked in interviews, to faking news, to funny news reporters, to catching lip syncing, we've got it all covered. But to give you a little sip on the tea, let's see some of the most embarrassing live TV incidents that will make your jaw drop on the floor. Faking weather news. News channels are notoriously known to fake incidents which are actually not happening in real life. There are many instances caught when the live reporters were faking weather reports. One such incident is when a Weather Channel crisis actor was actually caught faking the battle with wind during Hurricane Florence when two men were casually walking in the background. Way to go, crisis actors. We are not that dumb. No hair gel. As MSNBC anchor Ali Velshi was introducing Bradley as part of a segment on the fight against ISIS, the reporter, currently based in Syria, was apparently unaware that his live shot had started. He was seen spitting into his cupped hand and using his saliva to slick back his hair. And then he did it again with the other hand. Although he initially couldn't hear Velshi, Bradley was eventually able to deliver his report. But his journalism chops are not what Twitter is buzzing over. People cannot stop talking about the saliva styling moment, which went viral. Heavy night. Of all the things a TV host could accidentally do to a guest, throwing up on them is probably up there with the worst. Eva Nazemson was hosting a late-night phone-in game show on TV4 Plus when she was suddenly hit by an unexpected bout of nausea. Having just asked a male caller to solve a word puzzle, the young presenter turned her head to one side and vomited. But seconds later, she was back on camera with full clarification. I have to say I'm sorry about that, but I really do have period pains, and they can make you feel really sick, said Nazemson. High five. At one time or another, we've all found ourselves uncomfortably wondering what sort of physical gesture was called for to signal the end of a conversation. Handshakes, fist bumps, bro hugs, air kisses, it's all so confusing. However, we're pretty sure that Ryan Seacrest raised the bar of all-time socially awkward moments on American Idol when he tried and failed to high-five a legally blind contestant. As you should be. Well, I'm giving you a high-five. Congratulations. There it is. And we will Live Skype call. Live news is sometimes not serious at all. There are often mishaps that occur which makes the audience roll on the floor laughing. One such incident was recorded at BBC News when the reporter made a Skype call on live TV with Robert Kelly. The interview went all well until everyone could see Robert Kelly's four-year-old barging on from behind. All in all, his eight-month-old also swooped in until his wife came to rescue the interview. I am sure everyone must have chuckled when Kelly said, my apologies, but this little incident made the wife and children minor celebrities online. Award shows. Where do I even begin with award shows? The embarrassing moments caught during Oscars and other award functions are so cringing or funny that you want to watch it again and again. As for the hosts, nothing can top this moment at 2017 Oscars when the wrong winner was announced. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. Come this on. is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. Well, except no one can also forget that moment when Steve Harvey had announced the wrong Miss Universe. There's... I have to apologize. What were your reactions when you saw that? Talent shows. When it comes to talent shows like X Factor or America's Got Talent, you never know what the contestants actually might say or do. That is exactly what happened when one contestant said this on X Factor to the pop star Demi Lovato. When Simon Cowell was describing it his way as to how the contestant lacked vocal talent, Lovato also said that a lot of people work really, really hard for their dreams, but it is not meant for everybody. This is when the contestant mic dropped by saying, People work really, really hard for their dreams, but it's not meant for everybody. That's why you use auto-tune and I don't. Actually... When Sheryl Sandberg said that Mark Zuckerberg is shy and introverted, I don't think that we ever expected that he would say something like, But it is going to bother you because you're human. And, and I was human. I am human, still. Um, but, um, 
but, it, but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, not that I was not human. This little input from his raised the eyebrows of many conspiracy theorists. What do you think? Was he a human, or is he a human? Hmm. If anyone who is known to act all nervous and weird during award acceptance, it is none other than Kristen Stewart. Well, except for Jennifer Lawrence's fall, of course. So when Kristen Stewart won the Caesars Award, she went to the stage to accept the award, but couldn't take the award in hand because her hands were shaking. The award presenter rashly kept the award on the podium, which was a pretty awkward scene to see. Caught lip syncing. A 2004 Saturday Night Live caught the lip syncing of Ashley Simpson when she was performing her second song. Instead of singing the song Autobiography, the song Pieces of Me started to play again, even before she could keep the microphone near her lips. On a Monday, you saw me. On Tuesday, you called me. In order to cover that up, she tried to perform an awkward dance, which was even more cringing. Yikes. Afterward, she passed the blame to her band, saying they had played the wrong track. During the U.S. Senate ceremonial swearing-in, Joe Biden couldn't stop inappropriately touching young teenage girls. The awkward touches, kisses, and whispers were really cringing, and some women have even accused him of inappropriate actions. It is not uncommon that celebrities often face blatant questions during interviews. Scarlett Johansson, among many other actresses, has faced a lot of sexist and awkward questions. One instance is when during the promotions for Avengers, she was asked by the interviewer of Extra that if she wore any undergarments underneath her suit. You were able to wear undergarments? If You're you the, like the fifth person that's asked well, that. Well, no, because it, What is going on? <laughs> what, since when did people start asking each other about in interviews no, about their no, underwear? No, I think the interviewers should slow down on sexism and ask more of movie-related questions, don't you think? There are many instances when Mother Nature barges in on the TV reporters on live TV. There was one instance when a reporter was standing at a wooden dock which was in the teeth of Hurricane Ike. He moved up just in time before being swept in by the massive waves. There was another embarrassing moment when the weather reporter was showered with bird poop all over his head when he was reporting under the tree. Now that's something most embarrassing and smelly too. This which is a small bird. <laughs> I guess I should have seen that one coming, huh? <laughs> Reporters and animals combined make the best of funny and embarrassing moments caught on live TV. Be it nibbling onto the reporters or scaring them away, nothing is predictable with animals. Since compilation captures best of everything, here are a few funny and embarrassing moments caught. Just snakes that you find in the Metroplex area. <laughs> <laughs> the couple is going to have to come right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they're still looking for the other two. Meanwhile, other livestock owners. Taylor Swift versus Kanye West. The mother of all embarrassing live TV moments is none other than Kanye West and Taylor Swift's fiasco. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. It was so abrupt and embarrassing that even Beyonce was shaken at it. Even Pink walked up to the man and was pointing in his face, nodding her head back and forth where she expresses how embarrassing it was, and then she stormed off. All in all, even Taylor Swift made a little innuendo in her hit music video, Look What You Made Me Do. What are your thoughts on Taylor Swift and Kanye West's feud? This reporter seems to be doing a normal run-of-the-mill morning interview with a man creating an ice sculpture. The reporter interviews the ice artist as he works on a live sculpture at a county fair. When the reporter decides to take a closer look at the sculpture, then things really take a turn for the worst. Sports costumes. Most biking uniforms aren't the most flattering, but come on. The cut and seams of U.S. women's track cycling team uniforms are in all the wrong places at the 2012 London Olympics. Whoever designed these Olympic costumes shouldn't expect to get a call back anytime soon. These girls may have taken home the silver, but that's really not what they're going to be remembered for at all. What do you think about these uniforms? Let us know in the comments below, and do tell us what your favorite or funny live TV moment was. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.